Uh, that's working. Okay. Um, right. Before you get started, first thing you need to do, research your idea. Have your idea in mind. I don't know, is it a set of topics that you have to choose from, or is it right yeah. grand? So go away, do your research, know what you're going to be talking about beforehand. And this is going to be personal preference. Um, you want to kind of have decided what you're going to say before you actually sit down and do it. Because you know you don't want to be doing this off the top of your head, sitting down in front of PowerPoint and trying to just come up with it on the fly, because that's just going to be a disaster. Exactly. Um, I do stuff like this fairly regularly, like making videos or screencasts or whatever, just for internal stuff or external stuff or whatever. What I find works for me is making a script. Um, I write down on a Word document exactly what I'm going to say. But I write it down conversationally. I write it down the way I would speak normally. Because if you're using a script and you write it in like formal Shakespearean English, it will create a barrier in your head when you're trying to read it out because it'll just feel wrong. Um, it, it just it, it catches you up and makes you trip over your tongue because you're like, well, like this isn't the way I actually speak. And you'll just find it painful and it'll trip you up and make you make more mistakes, in my opinion. What works for me is to do up a script in conversational, exactly the way that I speak. It looks weird on paper, but when you come to delivery and recording yourself saying it, it's a lot more natural and it just flows easier and uh, you'll find that you get through it quicker, in my opinion, as I say. You might also want to try doing bullet points instead. The whole scripting thing mightn't work for you. Um, it just might be the best approach for you. So you might want to try bullet points instead. So just like say, you know, slide one, three bullets of what you want to cover on slide one. Slide two, three bullet points of what you want to cover. And just use them as a general guide to get you through it um, when you're talking through over the slide. Um, try either method, see what works for you, what feels more natural, and uh, you'll figure it out as you go along. But those are kind of like the two options anyhow for approaching it. And uh, just find whichever one works for you through experimentation. And third point is just find somewhere quiet to do this. Uh, you know, when you have the house to yourself or whatever, um, or come here and take one of the rooms or whatever, we can set you up. You know, you don't want to be in the middle of this and then someone comes in screaming or the dogs come in screaming or the kids come in screaming or the kids come in riding on the back of the Labrador screaming. You know, you just, you know, you want to be able to sit down and be able to do this and get it over within one go, maybe. Mm -hmm. um, so find a quiet place and a quiet time to do it. So the actual recording, Use a headset if you have it. Um, if you don't, chances are the microphone in your laptop will be good enough. But a lot of times they're not. <coughs> if you have a quiet space to be recording this in, then the microphone in your laptop will probably suffice. But it's just important to know that uh, you know the microphones in laptops can be pretty low quality. Um, so just be aware of that. Uh, record audio, listen back to it. And if you think it sounds crap, get a headset and use that instead. Don't use a headset that came with um, an iPhone or something like that, because they're really poor quality. And chances are the microphone in your laptop is actually better than that. Um, so just to be aware of that. Laptop or computer, obviously you're going to need that, because you, know, you can't do PowerPoint on a flip chart. PowerPoint. You will need PowerPoint 2016. What I'm about to demonstrate for you is in PowerPoint 2016. If you have 2013 installed in your machine, that will work too. And it's much the same and looks much the same. <coughs> but you all have access to PowerPoint 2016 and Office 2016 anyway through your studentship at ICAS until whenever you leave us. So I don't know if everyone has Office installed, but you will need to install it on your machine to get through this. If any of you have any difficulty with that or you don't know how to install Office, just give me a buzz and I'll talk you through it. Or bring your laptop into me some evening and I'll do it for you. Uh, but have it downloaded beforehand because the Wi-Fi here is terrible. Mm. Now, the actual process of adding the audio. <coughs> so you'll have your, I don't know, eight to ten slides or whatever down here on the left-hand side. Uh, I should say, have the slideshow completed before you start this. So, you know, have your deck of slides ready before you actually get to the audio recording phase because it's just better. You'll be more organized and more ready to approach it if the slides are actually finished and completed. Um, click on the slide you want to add the audio to, and then go into Insert. The Insert tab up here. 
And there's a number of different toggles down here. And the one you want to head to is media <coughs> over here. And then click on audio. And just select the option there for record audio. And that opens up this little recording box here. And you'll see it has three little symbols on it, uh, universal symbols for play, stop, and record. So the first one you're going to need is record, obviously. So you hit that. And you'll see then the timer starts to move up. And the button is no longer highlighted. So that's you know two little cues that you have to know that it's recording your audio. And then you just continue prattling on for however long it is that you need to say your wonderful things. And when you're finished, you hit stop, the second button there. And you can hit play to listen back to yourself. And then you'll see then the you cringe you as you listen to your voice. But you'll quickly get used to that because you're going to be doing a lot of it. If you're happy with what you've recorded after you've recorded it, click on OK. And it will insert it into the slide. And you'll know that's been successful because you'll see that little speaker icon uh, shows up in the middle of the slide. If you're not happy with what you've recorded, you can click on this and hit delete, and that's gone. And did you come back, did you say, sorry, to delete it? It is just that icon there. Oh, yes. So I'll click on it, it'll be highlighted then in a little square, and you just hit the delete button on the keyboard. And then for take two, you just repeat the process. So you just go audio, record audio, and you just hit that record button and record whatever it is you want to say, stop. You can listen back to it if you're happy with it. If not, you can just hit cancel and go through the process again until please you're ready just, to record. Sorry, please just ask as many questions as you need to. Yeah, because I think this is where I went off mm -hmm. um, the last one because I didn't play it back. Um, because play will um, let you listen back, to, listen it. back to it. Yes. Yeah. So, yeah. um, as with most things on computers, there's more than one way of doing something simple. So, you know, you can record, stop insert, and then this thing is up. You can also click the play button down here to listen back to it. So two ways of doing the same thing, which is usually the case with anything to do with technology, just to confuse things. Uh, just something to note that's important to know is that the audio is recorded on a per slide basis. So the audio goes into each slide individually. So you can't start recording the audio here onto slide two, and then just click space bar and move on to slide three. You record the audio discreetly onto this slide. You click OK to say you're done. And you click onto the next slide. And you do the process again. So you record the audio individually to each slide. And when you think about it, that makes sense. Because you don't want to be eight minutes and eight slides into it and then muck up and end up swearing into the microphone and then go on, oh, Jesus, now I have to start all over again. So if you make a mistake, it's only on the audio in one slide. And you can just delete it. and. Even if that slide is slide 9 of 10, then all your previous eight slides are grand. So and you don't have to worry about that. So, I went wrong here as well. Uh -huh. so, <laughs> so, am I right to say that um, at this time, that you, when you're finished with one slide, you stop it, mm -hmm. and then you go on to the next slide, and then you record and stop it? Yeah. yeah. That's it. Wouldn't you have a better option to save after each slide? Oh, yeah. Just you can save whenever. Okay. So, you know, yeah. you record all you want to slide. Jonathan, the three buttons again are uh, record, and you can play it back. And what's the one to the left, the extreme left, the little arrow? Yeah, the extreme left there. Yeah, yeah that's play. record. That one's record, yeah. Let's play. Stop. And you'll see. Oh, stop, and yeah. the one on the left. We don't need that one. Yeah, we don't the one on the left is play. So, you can listen back to it. doesn't highlight for some reason. Uh, it does, it's just very. It doesn't highlight until after you hit stop. And then it's only okay. a very slight change yeah. in the color. Yeah. But then you can hit play and okay, thank you. listen to yourself. Yeah. You hit stop yeah. and cancel if you're unhappy with it. Or hit that thing on your screen as well. That's another way of knowing that you've done it properly. This little icon will be on the screen. Um, you know, And then you can just hover over it, hit play, listen back. And if you're not happy with it, just click at it and hit delete. And it'll be gone. And will that always stay on each screen once we're happy with it? But that yeah. little icon. Yeah. But obviously, when the screen pops up, then that's not going to be in the middle. It's just far. No. So yeah. when yeah. Uh, James is reviewing yeah. it, like that little icon will be gone. Okay. Yeah. Um, and you don't need to worry about doing anything when you're submitting it. You just submit it like a regular assignment onto the LMS. 
just upload it like it's a regular PowerPoint because that's what it is. You don't have to save it as anything fancy. You don't have to turn it into a video file or anything like that. You just save it as PowerPoint file, the regular way you save any other PowerPoint, and then upload it. And uh, James will be able to download it and he just views it like a slideshow, and it runs through and automatically playing your audio. You'll be fantastic. I guess you'll all be brilliant. I definitely listen to them all. Anyway, this this is all going to be up there in the recording anyway, but I'll throw something together with these slides and put it up there as well. Um, Thank you.